everyone. Welcome to your 30 minute shoulders and abs workout. We've got 30 second work periods today with a superset of one shoulder and one ab exercise group together. So go ahead and grab your dumbbells and your water and let's get started. Let's go ahead and open it up with a big cross over your chest. You've got two minutes to get your upper body nice and warm. I think you're gonna love this workout today. Pushing for strength. You wanna make sure you're using weights that you can explode with. The heaviest weights that you can do with a good challenge, cross it over. And most importantly, not pushing yourself into failure where your reps aren't good quality. A good weight that you can control, but explode with. Switch arms, same thing, over and over. If you're training to add muscle to your body, you're gonna wanna make sure you use that moderate tempo. Two seconds to push up, two seconds to lower. Right past your body. Keeping that tempo, pushing up into those challenging weights, but weights where at the end of your 30 second work period, you're really pushing to maintain form because it's a good challenge. All right, arms out to the side. Let's go flat and open. Good job. And close, open. We're gonna do a shoulder exercise, then go down into an ab exercise, and we'll repeat that throughout the workout today. Okay, hands down onto your tailbone, push. Stretching out the hips a little bit for your core work. There you go. Keep it neutral, reach back. Three, two, and one. Good, first exercise, you're gonna start off Arnold Press. I'm gonna use my 15s. We go here, up, and back to the face. All right, let's go. Three, and here we go. got four rounds here, so pace yourself accordingly. Maybe this is your warm-up round, then we go up. Great job, 15 seconds. Now decide here, heavier. Stay the same weight. That's round one, you got three more rounds. I'm gonna go up for myself. All right, two, one, let's go. Good job, if your main goal is to add muscle, looks like this, one, two, one, two. You can rest here if you'd like that rest period. Good, rest. All right, two down, two to go. If you're training to just get stronger, you just wanna feel better, I want you pushing as heavy as you can. Don't worry about the tempo. Just move that weight. Let's go. Ten. Nice work, you got it, four. Good, rest. All right, last round here. Then we take a 30 second break and you're into core, okay? We're gonna keep moving today, keep pushing yourself. Last round, come on, three. Let's go. Dig deep here. You're using a weight that's challenging you. Get comfortable being a little uncomfortable. That's it, seven. And 
30 seconds to rest. We're moving now into standing twists, okay? I'm gonna use my 15. I want you to control this though. Holding it right here. Okay, if you feel like you want a little bit more challenge, you can always do a little bit deeper. Up, side, up, side, okay? Breathe, squeeze and control. Okay, keep the dumbbell in front of your chest, don't just swing it. Let's go. Good, you hear me breathing? I need you to be doing the same thing. Good, rest. Whew. Now you can go up if you can. As you can see, it's dependent on the weight that you're holding, your arm strength. Okay, focus on. Okay, that twist. Let's go, round two. And rest, good job. You go again, you can go heavier if you would like. Keep that breath, you're not hearing me talk too much in these working sets because that exhale is so important. Let's go. Good. Try to stop your swing too, so you don't let yourself go around and around. Good job, you got one more round. Heavier if you can, I'm going up with you. Okay, so this is all about rotational and anti-rotational core. So you're rotating, but you're also stopping the rotation. Two, let's go. Come on, three, and rest for 30. Beautiful job. The breath work and the control there is huge. We're moving on to a shoulder exercise again. We've got bent arm raises. 90 degrees with your arms, okay? You're gonna take them from right beside your legs, shoveling up right here, okay? Boom, up, boom, up. This is gonna hit the anterior delt or that front part of your shoulder. So let's start right here. Right in front of your thighs, keep this same bend. Let's go. I'm using my 10s. I'm gonna try to bump up to my 15s. Up, two, down, two. Good, rest. This is a great front raise option that doesn't depend too much on your elbows. Sometimes with a straight arm front raise, elbow gets a little tired, so we keep it here. We're still lifting upper arm away from your body. Let's go. Nice job. 13. Last one. Up two. 
Rest. Good. I'm gonna go one more round with that same weight and then the last round, I'm gonna try and bump it up, but you do what you know you should be doing, right? It's not about my weights, it's about you and how you feel. I'm here to push you and do it beside you. Let's go. There you go, right in the front of the shoulder, feel it there. Good, rest. One more, let's go. Start off a little heavier than maybe you think you're ready for. The worst that can happen is you say, okay, switch real quick. There's two seconds there, right? Push yourself. A lot of times we will surprise ourselves. Let's go. One more, come on, come on. Two, and rest. Beautiful job. See, I started off heavy there. I got half of that work set in with a heavier weight versus if I would've started with a safer weight, wouldn't have got as much out of it, right? I had to drop down, but that's fine. That means I'm pushing myself to that point of failure. We're going for leg raises up next. If you wanna lay on the floor, totally fine. I'm gonna lay down on the bench. Modification is just one leg dropping at a time, okay? All right, here we go. Two, come on. What you wanna focus on here is not letting your belly button open up. So ribs open, hips open. Keep everything controlled down. Good, rest. Whew. All right. If you're modifying just one leg at a time, okay, if you need a little mental connection here, try to crunch up just a bit. Ribs are down now, now keep them there. Two, let's go. You want a bit more of a challenge, open your arms up over your head. Spend more time out here versus feet over your hips. Good, rest. Two down. Another option to make this a little bit more difficult is if you have a med ball or a yoga ball, you can put that between your knees or your ankles. Round three, ready? Let's go. job we've got one more round abs are getting tired don't let your lower back creep up off the floor okay breathe deep push yourself rest a little less at the top if you're able two let's go Seven. Thirty seconds rest. Beautiful job. Whew. All right, grab water. The next one we're going to go 
is a bent arm lateral raise. So we're locking in this bend here, side and side. Okay, I'm gonna start with my tens, and we're going together in four, two, let's go. Just thinking of getting arms out, then up. Good, rest. Same thing, three more rounds. Good job, shake your hands out. Let's go, four. Come on, stay focused. Eight. Rest. Woo! Okay, shake it out. Shimmy if you need to. Two more rounds and then we'll head back to the core on the floor. Whew. Great work, guys. Let's go, ready? Up two, down two. Or if you're working for strength, get up there. Come on. Eight. One more, come on, two. Great job, last round. If you can go heavier, try it. If you're having to stop a little bit more in between reps, Stay with the same weight and just keep pumping, okay? Let's go, three. Come on. Great job, you got it, 14. Six. Great job, 30 seconds rest. And you can come on down to the right side of your body. So laying it down on this hip, we're gonna go mermaid crunch, okay? It's basically a single side jackknife with the option to lift both legs up. All right, so we're here, okay? Beginner option, take it up. Meet your leg at the top, leave the bottom one on the ground. If you can, you're lifting both legs. Two, let's go. Good job, same thing here with the control. Up two, down two. We're training the obliques here pretty well, so focus, focus. And rest, good job. If you wanna add a dumbbell, I'm gonna grab a five and take it in my top hand. Make sure you're secure. Good reps over heavy reps. Let's go. There you go. So we get a little shoulder work in here as well. Six. Great job, rest. Water if you need it, you're right here beside it. Stay strong. Four. 
Let's go. Seven. Good rest, you got one more round, same side. Then we'll hit a shoulder exercise. Next ab exercise will be the other side. We'll finish with a combo, all right? Come on, let's go. You're strong, three. Let's go. Come on, breathe, you got 10. One more together, three. Rest for 30. You're coming up for a push press. Okay, I'm gonna use my 15s at first. There's a little bit of momentum help in here, okay? So you're gonna dip up, bring it down. One, two, dip up, one, two, okay? I'm gonna start with 15s, try to work my way up from there. Ready? You're doing great, come on, let's keep pushing. Two, come on. One, two, dip, push. Ten. Rest. Good job. You know if that was a little too light for you. Okay, if you're getting to the end of your work periods and you're like, mm, it's probably not challenging enough for you anymore. And you gotta realize, you do get stronger, okay? Let's go. Nice work, 13. Rest, good work, come on, keep it up. I'm with you. Breathing might be a little heavy right now. Stay focused. Come on, good reps. Let's go. Last 10. One more. Good. All right, show me what you got here. Can you go heavier? Can you try? I'm gonna go up two. I'm gonna do as many as I can. If I have to drop, it's right there. And I'll never know unless I try. Ready, let's go. Fifteen. Come on, shoulders. Eight. And rest. Good work. Other side, mermaid crunches. Great work. Have those dumbbells out if you want to pull them into the crunch. All right, you're on your left hip now. I'm gonna take my dumbbell up here. Remember, we're aiming for here, okay? It's not gonna come as high as if you open up a little bit, okay? Pick your focus. 
Let's go. Rest, good job. One round down, we've got three to go. <sighs> Here we go, four, two, come on. Good job, come on, crunch it up. I know this is tough. I know it's hard to keep your legs together. I know you feel like you're breathing and just kind of crunching up into a ball, but try to think about controlling the open. There you go. Rest. Good job, two down. Great work. You can also, instead of going all the way down to the floor, just tap your foot on the ground. It's another way to turn it up a little bit. Two. Let's go. Good job, 15. One more. Great job, rest, and we've got one last round. And then I'm gonna just gonna ask you to open it up and hold this core move, okay? Last round here. Three, two, let's go. Two, one, great job. Flip it over into a plank position. We're going body saws for one minute right here. Push and pull, and that is it. Just a little rapid fire burn out here at the end for shoulders and abs. As you push forward, control that with your shoulders. Great job, almost there, come on. <sighs> 14, come on. Go for it, go for it. Five. Rest and reach your hips back, arms go forward. You have made it, amazing job. Great job. Exhale, big deep breath, walk your hands back towards your legs. Come on up to your knees, push gently forward. You made it to the cool down and I hope you're feeling strong. Open those hips up. Good, extend one leg out to the side. Drop your hand down, I just want you to open that side body up. Good. Open, 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 reach over, reach over, reach over, and switch. Good job. Taking what you learned here, apply it to the way that you push yourself in tough situations outside of the workout. And I don't just mean workouts, I don't just mean nutrition, but I mean the way that you think about your potential as a person. Okay, come back into the middle, make your way up to standing however you can. Don't forget, you gotta keep pushing for your potential in the workouts, in nutrition, but just in your happiness as well. 
like, what are you doing each day that fills you up? I was talking to a member of the Sydney squad today. She's like, what do you do when you're just exhausted? It's like, first of all, rest, right? You're doing a lot. You're a lot of things for a lot of people sometimes. Rest. But also, you could be doing a whole lot of things that just make you mentally a little bit more tired. So are there things in your life that infuse a little bit of joy in your day? Like, I love going for a walk. I love getting up and watching the sunrise. I love hitting the sunset on my porch. I love, it doesn't have to be something like a spa day or a bubble bath or painting a masterpiece, but little things, good music, right? Make sure those things still have their place in your life. Pull here. And you can probably get to that point where you think, Everything's irritating me. I am so annoyed at everything, everyone. That's that point when you've probably gone a little bit too far without those joy infusions. So pick a couple things. Maybe it's a good playlist. Maybe it's getting ready for the day, fixing your hair, putting on your favorite jacket when it's not really that cold yet, but that jacket just makes you feel good. Do it anyways, right? More things like that that make you the happy version of you because then you remind yourself what you want, what kind of life you want, right? I want that for you, okay? So keep strength training, keep doing things that make you happy in and outside of the workouts and eat well, hydrate well, get some sleep and keep loving yourself, okay? I'll see you back here for our next workout. Before you head out, make sure to give the video a thumbs up to let me know that you crushed it and comment below what your favorite ab exercise was today. I'll see you for our next one, great job.